Oh god, don't put dries on. Oh, put dries on! <laughs> In this video, I've removed all dry ties from the F1 game, meaning that the AI and myself will be forced to use wet ties for the whole race. That means there will be very little grip and the ties will overheat extremely fast. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. Every car is equipped with the wet tire, as you can see straight from the menu screen. And we will be customizing the weather to start off as dry and then go to wet towards the end of the race just to make it even more interesting. So that brings us to Austria qualifying. We're just testing out the wet tires on the dry track. And my main concern is going to be the tire temperatures. They're going to rise really quickly considering it is a dry track and they're not meant to be driven on a dry surface, but everybody will be dealing with the lower grip levels. But if you're a smart cookie, you might know that it's not a level playing field as the AI have their temperatures locked in mostly at the optimal temperature, whereas I have to deal with the overheating tires. Oh. With a few adjustments to the setup, let's get on with the race here in Austria. We're gonna be starting from the back, even though I could have qualified further up the grid just to make it even more entertaining and everyone will be forced to make their pit stop so it's not like we can bring these wet tires to the end of the race uh, with that pitting again for another set of wets at least. We are off to a decent start making up two positions already but we're going to have to be driving very conservative in the way to keep these tire temperatures down. And we'll also be doing some shenanigans with the strategy as you'll find out later on. And that is Yuki Sonoda making it a lot more difficult than it needed to be to go through what is considered the second corner on this track. But we make it through that with no damage. Nothing is going to rain on my parade, especially with these wet tires. You already know that my humor for this video is gonna be drier than the surface of the track right now. Look at this move around the outside of Vettel. We're gonna switch back to what is the outside of the right-hander now. And uh, hopefully we can get a run on him before we start heading down the hill on the final two corners. And uh, we almost rear end. Yuki Sonoda there and I think Vettel almost lost the rear end as well as we all have pretty limited grip at the moment and it will get even worse as these tires heat up. It is all kicking off at the hairpin between Sonoda and Bottas here. We're going to try and make the most of this squabble. We're going to try and send it down the inside of Sonoda. Obviously a hard braking zone as it is downhill and uh, we're going to get Bottas as well. Also to mention, I think I've moved the brake bias a bit further forward in this race just to try and switch the heat from the rear to the front a little bit more as I, I think uh, it's especially in the traction zones a bit more rear limited. As you go through those long corners, obviously it's going to generate a lot of heat in the front as Bottas is now punishing us uh, for those overheating tires. But that has left the door open for us to go back up the inside. Oh yeah! We're now just going to try and use the DRS to stick with Bottas and try to keep Vettel behind. But it looks like it's going to be a tough one. As these tyres are beginning to overheat, we lose more and more grip and it becomes more and more difficult just to keep up with these guys. As you can see now, Vettel able to get past us as he has more control over the temps and he's locked up in the turn. We almost go up the back of him as well. We're going to have to try and rejoin the track without hitting Albon. He was uh, now attacking us from behind, but yeah, the AI, they have their temperatures locked in at, I think, close to 100 degrees, which means they can push as hard as they like without the fear of overheating. And it just means at this point in the race, they have so much more grip than we do. These tires are absolutely fried now. It's like driving butter on a frying pan. And uh, we're going to be coming into the pits now for the simple reason, even though it's not raining or it's wet at all. When we switch on to a new set of wet tires, we'll be starting off at the low temperature of around 65 degrees. And this means it will give us a couple of laps of an undercut to push until those temperatures start to rise. And by the time they start to rise, hopefully we get some rain, which will cool them down. And assuming that the weather starts to change soon, it means we can keep our tires finally in the correct temperature working window. Also, good pit stop from McLaren finally got the turn in right with the button mapping when I usually always press the wrong button. Also if you're enjoying the video be sure to subscribe for your chance to win George Russell's power unit from the Australian Grand Prix. Gentlemen the rain is starting to finally come down which is just in time as you can see the left tires are starting to overheat so this is just in the nick of time so our tires stay in the right temperature window. Now that the tires aren't overheating I have even more grip than Thomas Ronha. Also in other news Schumacher has finally 
originally pitted, so that's the first of the AI to switch to another set of wets. You'll also notice that in the top left hand corner, there is a discrepancy between what compounds it shows and what compounds the AI are actually on, but everyone can only use wets, so when they actually put the tire on the car, it is definitely a wet tire. Now that everyone has finally made their pit stop, we are now getting let loose amongst the AI and uh, we finally have the grip to fight them. Bottas! Bottas! Up next, heading into the hairpin, we are finally going to get him back after he had the edge on us earlier in the Grand Prix, and it looks like it's gonna be a decent move around the outside. Roses are red, a red bull is ahead. Ferrari's championship hopes are dead. But on the plus side, we are now into the points in P10. Gasly is now next up. Let's not do our best impression of being a French teammate. And we do, in fact, get around the outside of him without making any contact, so that I'll definitely Definitely take that. We're up in the PA and things are starting to look positive for us. Oh, look at all this. Just gonna scoot on through that. Baba boy. Okay, so it's been a completely uneventful end to the race with us just getting up to P5 on pure skill alone. But that was a really fun race and now we're going to be changing a lot for this next race. Hamilton wins the race, but let's head over to Abu Dhabi for this next one. For this next race, we have increased tire wear by three times the standard amount in the F1 game. We have also locked the tire temperatures to simulate freezing cold tires for everyone, meaning it'll be a level playing field and everyone will be on ice skates. Alrighty, gentlemen, we are in the middle of the desert with wet tires, so it can only be one of my videos, that's for sure. Uh, you'll notice in the bottom right corner, the tire temperatures will change, but it will always simulate a freezing cold tire as it does for the AI so it doesn't matter how hard you push or how much you slide but the catch is there is three times the amount of tire wear we're gonna try and work our way up the field starting from last and as you can see <laughs> there is still so much wheel spin even in third gear and uh, we weren't even accelerating at full throttle this is what you guys wanted to see everybody battling on ice skate we send the dive bomb of the century up the inside. Uh, we gain a few positions there, but on the exit, we just got no grip at all, as does everyone else. Ricardo and Vettel battling ahead. Uh, let's try and see if we can, in fact, get all the way to the front by the end of this 15 lap race. Of course, tire wear will be an issue, and there will also be rain towards the end of this race, so it's gonna be a spicy one. Who knows what the outcome will be. We've got a decent run on our teammate here, and uh, we're going to try and go around the outside of the long left-hander at the end of the straight, which is new uh, for 2021. Jeez, what a race that was. Anyways, we're still trying to go around the outside of Vettel. And uh, I don't think you guys realize, but when the rain does come, it'll be like driving freezing cold tires in the rain. So the grip will get phenomenally bad as we go up the inside of Vettel and we get turned by our own teammate. He could have just yielded the position and this- Hey guys, welcome back to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix where I'll restart it more times than the Australian Grand Prix until my teammate learns to not take me. All right, we've had a clean lap one, uh, catching onto the back of Ricardo now. Uh, it seems like we've got a train ahead of us. I'm not gonna lie with these grip levels and everyone ha- Oh my God, R Ricardo just blew up in front of us. Um, okay. As I was saying, the grip levels are so fun to drive and everyone's on a level playing field because they're the same temperatures. It's I just wish there was this option in the game for everyone to experience. I don't know if you saw earlier, but we just had wheel spin in seventh gear. That is absolutely insane. Uh, the traction on the exits are so minimal. We're now going to dive bomb Ocon into this high speed left-hander. Well, it's not really high speed uh, with this mod. And because of all the wheel spin we've been doing, we are already in the mid 30s on the tire wear and it's only lap four so we really need to start preserving our tires as science runs into the side of us uh very clumsily it's just so little grip even for the ai the ai aren't really prepared for these kinds of conditions but i am having the most fun i think i've had in a mod uh ever really and it looks like we're finally going to get the move done on science if we manage to keep it straight uh coming out of this corner we're gonna have the short shift just to keep those revs down low and to reduce the wheel spin. I'm probably the only person on this game that's modified it to be worse for the driving experience as I have absolutely no grip as the rain starts to come down. We have 50% wear on the rear tires. I'm going to have to preserve these tires way better on the next stint. We are now joining the back of Leclerc on, it seems to be, the AI train. 
And uh, I think we're going to make our pit stop now as the tire wear is starting to get a bit high and we want it to get those fresh tires. Let's look after these rears because uh, this is where it start, it's going to start to become a real challenge for just trying to keep it on the road. And the AI are also going to be struggling. Hopefully we don't get held up in the pits because everyone is literally pitting at the same time. And uh, there'll be a lot of traffic coming up the pit lane as we exit the pits. And we have been held for a short duration of time. We still come out behind Leclerc at least. I don't think we lost any positions really. And uh, now it's time to somehow maneuver through this tunnel. I don't know if you guys have ever driven a go-kart in the rain or at least on a wet track with slick tires, but this is getting pretty similar to what that feels like right now. With the mod changes, it means that I'll only have 80% grip of what this scenario would provide me with right now. Leclerc is proving a little bit difficult to overtake, but we do need to hurry up and get a move on if we're going to overtake the cars in front. So we do make the move up the inside into P10, finally in the points. Let's see how much further up the grid we can get. Catching up to the back of Gasly once again, as we met him in Austria. Luckily, my name isn't Ocon even though I'm gonna force him wide. And uh, yeah, let's get after Joe and all these cars bunched up further ahead. I think they're holding each other up. You can clearly see that the AI do not know how to handle these conditions. We are pretty far back. We're gonna send it anyways on Joe and we have made the move as long as he doesn't get back up our inside. But uh, even with the limited traction coming out of the corner, we are able to get in front. But once again, the AI is just struggling to stay on the track. They're, they're nowhere near the racing line. We're going around the outside of Perez. Perez is going to force us wide. We get a bit of a bump there. Uh, it's off cambered this corner, so it's very difficult, especially uh, when it's wet. Albon is up next. P6 doing a good job um, to be this high up. Alonso, of course, he'll drive anything in any condition and still somehow get the most out of it. We're really hacking our way through the field now, but we are starting to run out of time and out of laps. Alonso, a little bit of contact. I did think I was alongside for a long long enough duration of time to be given some space there, but unfortunately the AI well, let's just say they're not the best in this year's game. If you wanted to know how much action this mod is giving, well... Yeah, I'm thinking... We are now attacking Max Verstappen for P4, the uh, position just beneath the podium. Uh, we actually get a massive tank slapper. Oh, getting all out of shape there, Max Verstappen. It's just so funny to see the AI sliding around as well. It's only usually the human players that do this. Russell is up next for the... Uh, bottom podium position as he also makes a big mistake coming out of uh, the first corner the same as what Verstappen did He actually tried to look around the outside. They're very optimistic from Russell rain is now coming down as hard as ever Norris is struggling to stay on the track as is the rest of the AI and ourselves are sliding all about and we've actually pinballed off him uh, a bit of ping-pong as Sebastian Vettel would say and uh, we, we managed to get past him without damage just because uh, we are running with reduced damage, I think. Tires are looking a bit worn, but it's definitely enough to make it to the end of the racing as it is the final lap. And uh, it looks like it's just not going to be enough time to catch Hamilton uh, at the end of this race. So it's been so fun coming from the back with limited grip. The AI is squirming around. We are sliding, drifting around, and it's just what an awesome mod this was. I'm really glad to have made this one and it was really enjoyable to play. Hamilton comes home in first place yet again, and I'm just happy to bring home the car in one piece, to be honest, but that was incredibly fun. I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and if you want to see more crazy mods, be sure to leave your suggestions in the comments below because I read them all, and there's a high chance that I might even include one in a video in the future. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in a brand new one.